Well, I was、uh, very much influenced by a lot of things, but in particular, I listened to Earl Hines on the piano for hours until I no longer heard the melody,、uh, but the spacing in between his notes. Learned from、uh, from Earl Hines to paint the spaces in between. You see, and then let the figures emerge that way. Good evening, and welcome to the Romare Bearden Jazz Jubilee Tribute Gala. So this is why I think his work is so important because we can learn from it. It's so instructional when you're talking with students about the history of art, about the history of making art. He's an artist that you can use. He's a he's a master of composition, you know, virtuoso with color, and just. Fascinating to watch.、Um, in order to keep Romare Bearden in the forefront,、um, not for any really selfish reasons, because he's my brother-in-law, but because he,、uh, his art is really、um, great. He was a brilliant man, and people need to know about him. People from all walks of life. One of my most memorable experiences with the Romare Bearden Foundation has been working with the National Gallery in Washington, D.C. for the Romare Bearden Solo Exhibit, the first exhibit to host an African American artist. That, to me, was history in the making. And when you talk about that, you're talking about a man who is、um, not only just an artist. You know, we have a beautiful art around us. And tells his story, but also in regards to, you know, this is a man that's a, a literary scholar, a man, a mathematician. Try to look at, you know, a jazz lover, the one that has infused that love of jazz into his painting. And I think that's also why we're here today. Let's learn more about the Bearden Foundation. The role of the Romare Bearden Foundation is to perpetuate the legacy of Bearden. We will do that through working with children, working with artists at various levels in their career, setting up、uh, exhibitions, shows, lectures,、uh, providing the world with information about beauty. Which means that we do have an obligation to serve the public good in the broadest sense of that. But we also are very mindful that we started out giving grants and supporting artists. That was the mandate that drove our initial mission. And it's still at the heart of what we want to do. I think it's interesting to note that many people will say, many African Americans will say that Romeo Bearden was one of the first artists that they collected. Period. Not just African American artists, but just artists. Period. When they first started collecting, and I think that there are many reasons for that, perhaps. And one of it, one of the reasons might be that. He put so much history, so much family, so much love into his work. The most important things that we've been talking about recently is the fact that this foundation is really the only longest surviving foundation that has emerged out of the estate of an African American visual artist. I was aware even then that there was structure. That you know he was bringing a lot to the table, a lot more than we had, but he was bringing a lot to the table. I mean, he knew history, he knew art, history as well as the history of folks, and he knew about music. He was always listening to music and science and math and technology, and very hip guy, very very hip. And so I knew that he had command of his craft. We want to continue to celebrate Romare Bearden as a great human being, a humanitarian. He cared not just about his own people, but people everywhere. He never refused to see anyone. He was very open,、uh, generous to a fault. My sister Nanette had to take care that he didn't just give away his art and give away his money. <laughs>、uh, in certain instances, he loved children. He wrote stories for young and old. This is why the foundation is so important. So we want to make sure that in, in describing our purpose as perpetuating and preserving Bearden's legacy, that that is primarily at the core of what we do. And through that, we've defined programming in two different ways. One is legacy-based programs, which are really those programs that are focused on 
bringing Bearden to a larger public, making sure that within the canon of American art, his place is secure, making sure that on the national as well as the international stage, he is appreciated and valued for the contributions that he's made to art in general, not just American art, but world art. And we also want to make sure that the things that he left us, his library, his archives, the things that mattered, um, are preserved and his art is well maintained. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you on behalf of the board of directors and the staff of the Romare Bearden Foundation. It's been an honor this evening to have you with us. I really look forward to having the opportunity to work with you in the future as the foundation begins to push out its programs. It's with your support that the foundation can really live the vision and mission that Romare Bearden has asked us to do. We want to continue to make sure that we're always testing against what would Bearden really want us to be doing. Are we on track with what he had initially planned for this foundation when he established it eight years before he passed away? He wrote this into his will eight years before he died. It was clear that he understood the importance of institution building. He understood the importance of having organizations like this one that would support the legacy of an African-American artist, but that would support other artists as well.